the principal source of human energy is food. Right now, there are 7.3 billion people on planet Earth who need food every day. Yet today, large-scale food production is facing many serious challenges. Soil quality is deteriorating through over-farming. Even as water supplies become more scarce, pesticides are contaminating streams, groundwater and wells. The numbers are staggering. 77% of agricultural land is used for livestock production, but only provides 17% of the world's calorie requirement. Agriculture alone is responsible for 70% of the world's freshwater usage. Wheat and cornfields support virtually no insect life. In parts of Europe, experts estimate a more than 70% decline of certain insects as a result of pollution, habitat changes, pesticides and global warming. One third of the planet's greenhouse gas emissions comes from agriculture. More than 820 million people don't have enough food to eat. Yet every year, rich countries throw away almost as much food as the entire production of sub-Saharan Africa. That amounts to roughly one third of the world's produce, approximately 1.3 billion tons of mostly fruits, roots and vegetables, lost or wasted. That's enough to feed two billion people. Yet by 2050, we'll face the challenge of producing 70% more food with only 5% more usable land to feed yet another two billion people. We cannot feed 10 billion people 30 years from now using the same practices we have in the past. The change is coming from an unusual source. People are mobilizing. Thanks to internet access, consumers are becoming much smarter about the food they eat. Consumers are becoming radicals. They're orchestrating changes in global food production through their choices. They're no longer merely happy to accept what brands claim and retailers provide. They want more protein and less processed starches and sugar. They're scrutinizing the contents displayed on the packaging. They're tracking the link between dread diseases and what they eat. Products must be GMO-free with fewer preservatives. They are choosing to eat more protein-rich diets, accepting that edible meat can be grown in petri dishes or totally replaced by meat made entirely from plants. They want locally grown, whole and minimally processed organic foods that are fresher and have a longer shelf life. Sugar is being taxed. As a result, the biggest global food and beverage conglomerates are reconsidering popular items with no sugar, saturated fats or artificial colouring alternatives. There is a common thread to the future of food health, healthier people, healthier planet. The two objectives go hand in hand. The impact of food production on the planet's health is as important to people as the health of the food that they eat. People are much more conscious of what's going on around the world, judging businesses by their values and how they act and live their values. They're watching documentaries on the meat, dairy and fish farming industries and witnessing environmental degradation through mass production. This has provoked outrage. These new, smarter consumers are voting with their pockets, using their purchasing decisions as a form of activism, shifting support to companies that share their personal beliefs and hopes for the future. We need to look at our sources of water, energy, how we treat waste. These are our key focus areas in our search for potential investments. In Africa, 200 million people suffer from bad diets and lack of proper nutrition. 58 million children under the age of five are stunted, meaning their brain development is compromised and they will never reach their full potential. World Health Organization estimates by 2030, lifestyle-related chronic diseases such as diabetes and high blood pressure will overtake the communicable diseases that Africa has traditionally struggled with. Our partners in the food industry are also facing these critical challenges and want to be part of the solution. Remgro and RCL Foods, who are our key investment partners, they have traditionally traded in mass-produced proteins, carbohydrates and sugars. And by investing in the hatchery, they are not only putting their money with future agri-food tech, getting a financial return from it, but they're also investing into the innovations and technologies that are going to transform their own businesses. Innovation is about thinking beyond short-term targets. Success will be determined by building purpose-driven, competitive advantages. Sustainability means businesses and communities now need to plan for 10 years and beyond. Health and wellness, safety, social and environmental impact and transparency have become the new measures. Sustainable cities require integrated urban and rural food systems. 
the trend is towards new, smaller, more innovative companies offering fresher, whole foods. Digitization is aiding farmers with new efficiencies in planting. Supply chain infrastructure needs to be restructured to manage fresh or short shelf life foods that don't contain artificial preservatives or ingredients. Retailers, distributors and producers need to rethink their business models and focus on innovation to succeed in this evolving market. Currently there's a seismic shift taking place in the way that food is grown, produced, manufactured, distributed and consumed. There are some promising innovators around the world. Solar foods are producing protein out of thin air using solar technology. And square roots are changing the way leafy greens are produced, taking it much closer to the consumer and growing it under an urban farming environment. Almost all the radical food technology advances are driven by new consumption patterns of the developing world. In Sub-Saharan Africa and other developing regions, the impact of climate change on subsistence farming and the scarcity of food is painting a very different picture. Disruption in these areas is necessary and investments in these areas is critical. In Africa, the challenge will fall on food manufacturers to lead the transition towards healthier, yet affordable staples. By sourcing and investing in new disruptive technologies and business models, the hatchery will play a vital role in shaping a healthier and more sustainable future of food for Southern Africa and Africa as a whole. Everybody should have the simple privilege to eat good, healthy food. We know that the future of food is at a critical point in time. And that's why we created the hatchery. The hatchery is an opportunity to bring healthier food to people who thought they never had access to it before. This is not about placing money and planning a shrewd exit for maximum return. We want to be partners in real businesses that make a difference to long-term food security. Our regional focus is on Southern Africa with a bias to South Africa, but we are not being limited by any of these boundaries. We want to invest smart money in the advances in technology that will improve health and the planet. We're not just investing in the future of food, we are investing in the future full stop.